Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again for our third installment of our interview prep guide, where we are going to help you walk in the job interview with confidence and out with the job. I hope everyone has had a great holiday weekend. We were pretty much closed for the entire week of Thanksgiving. Our we, are, we recognize our clients. A lot of them do celebrate that holiday, so we hope everyone is well rested and ready to go. We are on topic three of uh, five topics we'll be discussing with this series. So this week we are going to focus on practice, practice, practice. And how the more you practice your interview, going through that process, answering common questions, how your interview process can go almost perfectly. Today's job market is tough. In this presentation, Crawl is going to give you some tips and cover things that may help you prepare better for your next interview. Our last topic was about common interview questions that may be asked during an interview. And today we're gonna to focus on ways to practice those questions, what to say. We're also going to address how to try address how to dress and some post interview tactics in our later topics that we're going to, to uh, have with this presentation most importantly and above all things we encourage you to do your homework on the company in which you are interviewing for know your audience adopt the mindset of here's what I can do and here's what I want to do to help you versus what is this job going to do for me? Is this job going to give benefits? Is this job going to be a better work environment? Is this job on the top Forbes top 500 list? Instead of asking what the job can do for you, when you go to your interview, you offer them yourself. You sell yourself. Here's what I can do and here's what I can do to help you. reflect, relate, explain, and discuss. So before I get into a few questions you may be asked during your interview, we want to go through some of the things you can do in order to structure what you say better. So you want to reflect for certain questions. Um, for instance, what is one of your best achievements? What is, what is one of your mistakes you recall? Uh, when you had a disagreement with an upper or higher authority, what did you do? Those types of questions you want to, I broke this down in four parts. You want to reflect on your career. So while you're doing your practice, you want to reflect on your career, get you a piece of paper, get you a pen or a pencil, and you reflect on your career. It's okay, at this job, what did you do? At this other job, what did you say? What were the re results of that? And then for number two, relate, you want to relate that to the job you are applying for. What difference did you make? If you accomplished something, what difference did that success make at your job and how does it relate to this current position? Number three is explain what you did and how you did it. Specifically, talk about your skills. What did you bring to the table? To, in order to make this thing successful. Because again, because again, we want to, we do not want to focus on the negatives. We want to turn any negatives in our career path into positives. So specify what your skills were and what you did in order to turn things around. And then fourth and last, discuss what you learned. Share life lessons. What do you get out of this experience? How did that 
but how did it change for you? And did it make things better for your coworkers or, or the public, any other people? What did you learn from your experience? And above all else, be sincere. So tell your story. Interviewers often ask for anecdotes. These anecdotes are used to demonstrate essential qualities for the job. So are you right for this job in the interviewer's eyes based on the stories you tell? So again, I outlined five different types of questions you may be asked. Uh, these are some of them that I have either encountered myself and been asked or someone else has been asked, with the first being your successes. An interviewer very well may ask, tell me about an accomplishment that makes you proud. And you want to be able to handle that. A lot of times it throws people off because you, what if you don't have, or do you think some of the things you've done in your past aren't really achievements? Well, everyone has some type of achievement that made something work better. And if not, you have to come up with different ways in order to discuss your achievement that displays these skills that were necessary for that particular job and how and it ties into to the job you're interviewing for. Errors. Tell me about a time you made a mistake. Well, from my research, it looks like the best way to answer to address this um, statement is to pick a mistake from the beginning of your career. So at the beginning of your career, you worked at, I don't know, maybe McDonald's as a teenager. Start from there and talk about where you gained experience and the lesson you learned from being a new employee, fresh out of high school with no job experience or little job experience. Let them know what you learn from that point to this point in your career. Outcomes. Tell me how you handled a difficult situation. The first thing we discourage you from doing is casting blame on others. You have to take responsibility for the part you pay, play. So focus on the part you played and then offer the, let them know the solution that you just provided in order to fix whatever problem you had to face. The extra mile. Tell me a time when you went above and beyond on a project. Well, number one, define what was required of you. What were your responsibilities? No one else's. What were you supposed to do? What were you supposed to? Are you a team? What was your job specifically on that team? Number two, define how you exceeded expectations. What did you do to go above and beyond the call of duty? Not to sway away from the entire project and take away from the project, but what did you do to add to the project and increase so that that project can be even better? What part did you play? Lastly, emotional intelligence. A lot of people think that, you know, if you're smart, book smart, that's that's it and that's all. Well, emotional intelligence is something that I have worked on for probably, probably about three years or so uh, because you have to be emotionally intelligent enough to so you can be logical in actually resolving problematic issues. So if you're in an interview and they say, tell me about a time you disagree with your boss, the one thing you do not want to do is talk about how awful you awful your boss is and how you yelled at them and you all had a knock down bang out fight in the office you do not want to do that at all you want to highlight how you work together to reach an understanding even if that understanding resulted in you leaving or being transferred to a different department you want to let them know that well while I didn't agree with the way my director or supervisor or manager handled this, this is what we came up with and this is what we discussed. Instead of me leaving the store altogether or leaving the job altogether, we decided that it may be, I may be a better fit in a different area. Something like that book. Please do not 
do not ever badmouth a former job or boss during an interview because they are looking at you and they want to know how you fit. Thank you so much again for joining me for this session. We are on our third topic, practice, practice, practice. We encourage you to stand in the mirror. Ask yourself some of these questions. Tell me about a time when you made a mistake. Put some detail into that. Briefly discuss how that relates to the job. Define yourself well so that you can explain what you did what skills you brought to the table, how it relates to your job, and how you, you were instrumental in resolving the issue. My name is Tara McKinney. If you would like to know more about what I do, please feel free to visit my website at crawlmarketing.com. If you have any questions, send me an email at tpmckinney at crawlmarketing.com or give me a call. I am open Sunday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, but I am always available for appointments. I am also on IG at Crawl Marketing and on LinkedIn as well. YouTube, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, and like some of the content that I have provided. I have a lot of videos that you may be able to get some substance from when it comes to relationship marketing. Again, I am the owner of crawl marketing and promotion. I'm also a relationship marketing consultant. My relationship marketing firm helps small to mid-sized companies focus on their customers and longevity and customer loyalty versus sales. I hope you've enjoyed this third topic. And once again, I am here to help good businesses get unstuck.